Uh, hi, I'm Sterling Strother with The Art of Winning <clears throat> and Transforming the Practice Court. And I want to just briefly go through the semifinal match at the French Open this year with Kanta and Bondrosova. And specifically, I want to talk about Kanta with regards to uh, the first couple of shots that she played on her return. So what I'd like to talk about is uh, Kanta's return game uh, in relationship to winning momentum and conversion points. So a momentum point is when you win two points in a row, and a conversion point is when you win three points in a row. And so being able to capture momentum, sustain it, uh, or stop it is an important part of winning a tennis match. So for many years we talked about momentum in sort of a – haven't been able to quantify it, if you will. And what I've done over the past few years is actually quantify it by talking about winning consecutive points in a row and how focusing on the momentum score instead of the game score is where you as a player can really excel and capture the momentum of the match, sustain it, and then ultimately carry it to the end. And Conta definitely had the momentum in this match uh, in the first set being up 4-2 and then 5-3, as well as the second set, the same scenario, being up 4-2 and then 5-3, and then uh, losing the momentum, if you will. And, and I want to take a look at her return game because I believe that the first two shots she played on her return side made a huge difference in uh, how momentum swung the other way to Von Drusova. So let's take a look at the first return game of the first set, which is game number three. So here we have uh, Vondrosova serving here. And what I want you to pay attention to is where Kanta is placing her return of serve. If we have the service line here and then the baseline here, if we take a line and draw through the middle here, we have the back court, we have four corners. We have the deuce court corner here, we have the add corner here. And so where out the arrow is pointing right now, this would be inside add corner, which is the inside corner of the add corner. And then we have the inside corner here of the deuce corner. So about there. And if you notice, that's where her return, a lot of her returns where she was aiming was right there, which is a good place, um, in my opinion, to uh, place your return either here or there. You could also go right into the cages, which is also an excellent place to place your return. But anyway, I'd like to talk through how Kanta controlled her return in the first uh, return game here. So let's have this. So right there. And then she's set up here to go back into that same area. She can either hit here or closer into the zone of truth right in here. And let's see what she does. And it was a great angle which forces Vondrosova out wide. So I really like where Conta took her return in her R1 there. Let's see what she does here at 15 love. Love 15. So another deep return into the cage, sets up a short ball, goes with the drop shot, closes the net. Okay, Conta is up 30 love. Let's see where she takes this backhand return. Vondrosova keeps going an inside run. And she goes right back in to the inside ad corner. Excellent choice. Gets the short ball, goes into inside deuce corner. Gets Vondrosova on the run. And just overcooks it just a little bit. It would have been sufficient to go right back into the inside deuce corner because Vondrosa was running to the open court. This is the idea I talk about. So Kanta has won a momentum point, two points in a row, is up 30 love. Knowing that, you know, if she converts, if she wins three points in a row, she has a conversion point. That's what I call big momentum. Right, So on that last shot, she just needed to go inside Deuce Corner and not so close to the line. So now Kanta is up 30-15, and let's see where she takes the return of serve here. 
Okay, so she takes it deep right back into the cage in between the inside corners here. So excellent return. Let's see how she handles her R1. Big loopy ball back down the middle. Nice. Pushes Von Drosova back. Wasn't quite ready for that sharp angle. Because of hitting too close to the line, being a, a momentum point trying to convert, she goes from having a momentum point to Von Drosova able to answer back with her own momentum point. And that swings momentum back to a level playing field here. So 30 all. Conta's up 2-0. Let's see where she puts her return of serve in R1 at 30 all. Okay, another excellent shot to the inside ad corner for the return. And another R1 right back in the same area. Zone of truth. Heavy ball. Heavy ball and just out. So at this point, Von Trosova has now scored a conversion point. She was down 30 love. Now she's reeled off three points in a row and has started to swing the momentum back her way. Anta is definitely feeling it here. This is, this is what I really try to point out to players is when you're up in the score, you're not in a good place because the pressure of the score has been lifted off of you and it's now on your opponent. So the pressure of the score is going to help your opponent focus and they're, they're going to play better because of that. And you have to really, at being up in the score as a player, you have to have specific plans and really try to play more boring tennis. And what I mean by that is hit the inside corners. Don't go for lines when you're up in the score because the temptation is try to go too big and end the point. And what you want to do is you want to make that player that's behind in the score really struggle to win their points. You don't want to give them any errors from your part if, if you can control that at all. And especially, you know, at this point, just trying to manage uh, your shot selection better. Okay, so now that Conte is down in the score because Von Trosova has – want a conversion point, three points in a row. At this point, Conta needs to really focus on this inside corner right here of Ad. That's what she's been doing well so far. Just go ahead and go there, okay? Don't try anything spectacular at this point. You just need a good, solid return. Okay, she's going to get a second serve here. Okay. Conta has a ball right in her strike zone. Von Trosova sitting right at ad center, just off center here in the ad court. This shot would be a perfect shot at this point. She's down in the score. She's lost three points in a row. And she tries to hit this corner here. So that is a shot selection mental error right there. Up 2-0, but down 40-30. Your opponent just scored a conversion point on you. You need to make this player, your opponent, Von Drosova, play this S1 so you go here. So that is clearly a mental error by Conta. Okay, now I want to go to the fifth game of the first set where Conta is returning serve again. The score is now 2-all. So let's see how Conta handles her return of serve in the fifth game. Okay, great. Excellent. Inside add corner on the return. Another inside ad corner, kind of ad cage, is a little bit more into the cage here. Keeps Von Drosova back. Short ball, but that's okay. Those two shots, inside ad corner and ad cage, R and R1, excellent. 
decision. Now let's see if Conta can earn a momentum point by winning this point two in a row. And she just overhits that return, misses about a foot out. So that was on the ad court. So remember that return. Okay, now we're here at Conta is up, 30-15, returning. Andres would just double faulted. Let's see where Conta takes her return to serve. Oh, man. So remember it, being up 15 love, she missed by about a foot. Being up 30, 15, she misses by like 12 feet. So that is a mental error. That's a psychological error. You, you miss the first time by a little. The next time you should be hitting the ball definitely with good margin inside ad corner, and she misses it well out. Actually, Von Drosova had to duck out of the way on that one. So back to 30 all. So it's a trade-off. Point. Conta's won a point, lost a point. Won a point, lost a point. 30 all. Okay, great return. Inside ad corner once again. And goes back into that sort of zone of truth area. Ad corner. And forces the air once again. This is the third time we've seen Conta be able to do this by setting up this return in inside ad corner. So Conta is up 40-30. She has a chance for a momentum point and a break point. Let's see where she takes the return here. Wide serve. And it, wa it wasn't that difficult, but she missed it by about three feet. So on the ad court, Three times she has missed deep, all right? So as a player, you've got to learn your lesson. If you're missing deep, you need to put more cover, more, more spin on the ball, and play it into this section of the court, middle of the back court. Give yourself plenty of margin for error. What a great return off that fault. All right, let's see where she – Takes this return. Okay, great. Excellent. Right into the middle part, the backcourt, right at the e top edge of the cage. And Von Trosova just can't handle that ball. Back into the cage on it. So add Conta. All right. And she gets a forehand inside deuce corner. Excellent. Goes zone of truth. Okay, nice. Good cover on that ball. And she goes into the inside. Deuce corner hits it right on the line, I believe. And they're going to call that in. So, Ponta finishes up the fifth game with a momentum point. She's up 3 2. Okay, we're starting the seventh game. Conta's returning. She's up 4 2. Let's see where she takes this return. Excellent. Into. Inside deuce corner with the backhand. And just didn't get up to that short ball. But excellent return of serve. But misses the R1. So let's make a note of that. Okay, now we're going into the ninth game. Conta's up 5-3. See how she handles this return game. Excellent deep return into the cage. Sets up the inside deuce corner. Deep cage return. So here Conte is, and she absolutely just – I'm not sure if she was trying to go for this line, but, I mean, it was a good shot. Well, let's remember that for later. I would say that was an ISM, an isolated shot. Just trying to win the point off the return. And then the next return just literally, she, she hits it about eight feet deep. Up 30, love. You've got to hit those inside corners on the return. 
could have used that conversion point definitely. Big moment going in. Short return. It gets away with it. Just good margin tennis. Good margin tennis. Has double set point here. 40-15, Great, great inside. Deuce corner on the return. Heavy loop into inside add corner. Pushes Von Joseph back. Is in control of the point. Okay, so Von Trosov is here in the corner. She has this entire section right here completely open. And she goes for this line. That, that's a mental, that's just a major mental error right there. Up 40 15, 5 3. You've set this point up beautifully and you've got, just hit it as hard as you can right there. And then you've got margin. So, not sure what was going on in Conta's mind there, but that was. Alter, I got alter. Let's, let's see how she handles the next point. I mean, if she hits a good solid inside corner here, she's going to still be okay, but she still has a set point here. So, she's going to get a second serve. Just inside corner. Add inside corner, deuce inside corner. Okay. All right, fine. So cage, cage, right in here. Nice R and R one combo. Good setup again. Great setup again. Has an open court. The ball sits up and she chips it. I think that's the first back end slice she's hit the entire set. So if you're inside the court as well as she's hitting over her backhand. That could have been a backhand behind her. Yeah, that ball set up enough she could have hit over that ball. There's the backhand on force errors. Most of those are returns. I bet you almost all of those are definitely returns. Maybe one R1 in there. Okay, so she gets it. so she gets a double fault. So she has a third set point. Okay, a little short, aiming for that area, that's fine. Chip shot. Mm. All right, let's see where Conta takes her return at deuce, 5-3. And that missed out here in the alley. She, and she should know that Von Joseph is going inside run on her. She's done it the entire set. You've just got to be ready. I mean – Again, I think this is a, in my opinion, this is another mental error. She's just got to hit that solid return inside ad corner. It's been working for a whole set, but she just overcooks that in the opposite direction. I mean, to miss that that late, that just tells me that she just wasn't mentally prepared for that return. It's the return game here is, is absolutely necessary for Conta to rein in her return game here being up 5-3. Okay, so she's down at add point. Okay, so remember this game that she, she hit that same shot as she made it. So being down add point, up 5-3, but you're down an add. You've had three set points. She goes out wide, and you try that again. So this is what we call cloning, trying to clone an isolated shot or trying to clone a winner. So here Conte is, and she absolutely just – I'm not sure if she was trying to go for this line, but, I mean, it was a good shot. Well, let's remember that for later. This is not the time to try to clone a winner. This is the time to take that ball right back into inside ad corner, close the court out, 
you know, even if she makes that shot, Vondrosova has got a full open court. So that's just, that's another mental era in my opinion of Conta. And I think that just Conta adjusting in these small ways on her return, like just staying steady to these inside corners here and here, just R and R one, just pounding those areas, R and R one, um, even into the cage. That's fine. Fine with me as well. But nothing close to the lines, not too deep, middle middle of the backcourt. She's won almost every point that she's she's started the R and R one in this area of the court. Any other time she's going too much for lines, she hits she's just not putting enough cover on the ball, trying to be too good instead of just being a little bit more boring. This set would have been hers.